Magandang araw mga tropa. This is Darwin again and welcome to my channel, Darks Graphics and Arts. Bali continuation lang ito nung ginawa kong tutorial before. Uh, ngayon ay isasummarize natin yung 7 principles of design. Well, ang una na discuss na natin before, medyo ipapakita ko lang dito mismo sa posters kung ano ba yung emphasis. I-define muna natin in English. Says you are creating a poster for a concert. You ask yourself what is the first piece of information my audience needs to know. Is it the band or the concert venue? What about the day and the cost of attending? So, pinapaliwanag niya rito kapag gumawa ka ng uh, let us say concert poster ano ba yung i-emphasize mo? Yung bang pangalan ng band? Yung concert venue? Or yung details kung saan at kailan sila a-attend? O, oh, yun. Importante na malaman ng designer kung ano ba yung e-emphasize mo sa design mo, doon sa layout mo. Make a mental outline. Let your brain organize the information and then lay out your design. Gumawa ka ng outline mo. Isipin mo, pwede ka rin mag-sketch muna. Uh, sketch ka, gawin mo kung ano ba yung heading mo, maano ba yung heading, maano ba yung illustration, then yung copy mo. So, at the same time, nagpa-plano ka rin kung ano yung talaga yung uunahin mo para mas effective yung design mo. Nasaan na ba tayo? Place it in the center or make it in the biggest element on the poster. Or you could put it in the strongest, boldest type. Learn about color theory and use store color combinations to make the band name pop. Like writing without an outline or building without blueprint. If you start your composition without a clear idea of what you're trying to communicate, your design will not succeed. So, yun na nga. Kung hindi mo paplanuhin yung design mo, hindi mo pag-iisipan kung anong font gagamitin mo para makakreate ka ng emphasis. So, hindi magsasaksid yung design mo. So, dito sa sample na ito, ang ginawang emphasis dito ay itong rock band. Kita mo, nakaputi siya naka-reverse sa background, yung background niya is medyo dark at yung image niya, yung illustration niya ay hindi naman siya masyadong limitaw kasi nga ang in-emphasize niya rito itong pangalan ng rock, rock band and then uh, at the same time, palagay ko secondly, ginawa niya rin dito ito yung coming soon itong copy na maliliit sa baba medyo emphasize din kasi naka-reverse sa background so yun hindi siya flat meron siyang emphasis dito in-emphasize niya itong pangalan ng rock band at saka pinili niya yung text to talagang rockers ang dating kita niyo naman oh. so punta tayo sa susunod number 2 yung balance and alignment never forget that every element you place on a page has a weight the weight can come from, from color, size, or texture, just like you would put all your furniture in one corner of a room. You can crowd all of your heavy elements in one area of your composition without balance. Your audience will feel as if their eye is sliding off the page. Symmetrical design creates balance through equally weighted elements aligned on either side of a center line. On the other hand, a symmetrical design uses opposite weights like contrasting one large element with several smaller elements to create a composition that is not even but is still equilibrium. Asymmetrical designs are always pleasing, if not occasionally boring. Asymmetrical designs are bolder and can bring real visual interest and movement. More on that later, ha? Huh? Para kasi iba na yun eh. Iba na yung asymmetrical sa symmetrical. Iba pang klase ng balance yun sa design. Okay, uh, so ito, yung sample niya is ito yung symmetrical design. Kung ano yung nilagay mo sa kaliwat kanan, pareho yung bigat. Kita mo to may dalawang tao rito. 
may dalawang tao rito na pareho ang kulay tapos may isa sa gitna kumbaga symmetrical most of the time akong ako tatanungin niyo boring tong ganitong medyo may pagka boring pero kadalasan ganito kasi ang nangyayari lalo't hindi tayo familiar dun sa sinasabi nilang asymmetrical design yung kasing isa hindi ko na masyadong i-elaborate yung asymmetrical design is kung naglagay ka halimbawa ng malaking bulk ng design dito sa kaliwa mo pwede ka naman maglagay dito ng maliliit na marami so balance pa rin yun kahit na asymmetrical may equilibrium pa rin tinatawag para yung mata natin mata ng viewers pag tilingnan niya hindi siya parang hindi komportable di ba pagka hindi balanse yung design so kung balanse yan komportable yung mata ng tumitingin lalo na yung pwede rin apply sa mga painting sa mga posters na nakakabit sa wall so kita mo pag hindi pantay yung posters di ba dinediretso mo pa sa wall yon para dumiretso lang ganun din sa design Uh, pag hindi na-apply yung symmetry ay hindi siya magandang tingnan number 3 is uh, contrast contrast is what people mean when they say design pops it comes away from the page and sticks on your memory contrast creates space and difference between elements in your design Your background needs to be significantly different from the color of your elements so they work harmoniously together and are readable. If you want to war, if you plan to work with type, understanding contrast is incredibly essential because it means the weight and size of your type are balanced. How will your audience know what is most important is everything is in bold? As you seek out examples of really strong effective design, you'll notice most designs only features one or two typefaces. That's because contrast can be effectively achieved with two strong fonts or even one strong typeface in different ways. As you add fonts, you dilute and confuse the purpose of your design. So, itong contrast is uh, isa sa pinaka-importanting principles of design. Kita nyo tong example na to. Yung background niya is uh, colorful. Then dito binanatan niya ng black na medyo cartoon yung dating. Pero talagang grabe yung contrast. Kitang-kita mo talaga yung yung Leon o ito Tigre ba to o Leon. Kitang-kita mo talaga yung image sa gitna kasi dahil yung contrast. Isa pa Uh, wag gumamit ng masyadong napakaraming fonts kahit na dalawang fonts lang yung ginamit mo mas madaling mag strike striking kumbaga mali, parehong font gagamitan mo lang ng small size at bigger font size mas maganda ang dating mas class yung dating hindi tulad yung gagamitan mo ng katakot-takot na fonts mukha nang nagiging bakya yung design so hindi maganda tingnan Depende yun sa pagka-execute mo ng design. Let us say, ito nga, hindi naman sa fonts. Ito, ginamit niya colorful design. Bumagay dito sa contrast na halos pure black na. Kitang-kita mo talaga yung contrast niya. Oh. Lumitaw yung nasa gitna. Lumitaw yung idea niya. Number four is repetition. If you limit yourself to two strong typeface or three strong colors you soon find you have to repeat something that's okay it's often said that repetition unifies and strengthens a design if only one thing on your band poster is blue italic sans serif it can read like an error if three things are in blue italic sans serif you created a motif and are back in control of your design Repetition can be important beyond one printed product. Current packaging design is heavily embracing beautiful illustrated patterns. Anyone thinking about startup knows one of the first thing you need is a strong logo to feature on your website. Business card, social media and more. Brand identity, another term for repetition. Uh, ito, 
itong repetition, napaka-importante rin ito. Um, talagang kailangan gamitin mo itong technique na ito, itong repetition. Ito mo to Isang type of font lang ginamit niya, repetition ng numbers na in-scale little bit, pero nakakreate siya ng magandang design dito. Ang ganda ng dating, class na class yung dating. Then, uh, ito, repetition din tong ginamit niya rito yung style ng text to, ng mga copy niya. Repetition din to. So, ang ganda tingnan. Kita niyo yung mga brand identity. Pala, sa, lalo sa mga packaging, madalas gumamit ng repetition dyan. Uh, hindi lang ako makapagbigay ng example dito, pero sa mga susunod na video ko, ipapakita ko sa inyo yung repetitions. Sisingit ko na lang. Pero ito, ito yung example ng repetitions. Ayan. Nirepeat niya yung element niya. Siguro, iba-iba lang ng copy nito. Ito rin. Ito mo to. Uh, nirepeat niya yung mga type paces niya rito. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Repeated yung font. Repeated yung element. Oh, magandang tingnan. Nakabuo siya ng visual uh, representation ng art. Gamit ang repetition. Number five is proportion. Proportion is visual size and weight of elements in a composition and how they relate to each other. This often helps to approach your design in sections instead of a wall. Grouping related items can give them importance at a smaller size. Think of a box at the bottom of your poster for ticket information or a sidebar on website for each bar. Proportion can be achieved only if all elements of your designs are well sized and thoughtfully placed. Once you master alignment, balance, and contrast, proportion should emerge organically. So, what about proportion? Okay, ang proportion is yung merong maliit, merong malaki, na alam mo kung alin yung sa composition mo, alam mo kung alin yung dapat malaki, alam mo yung dapat kung alin yung maliit, alam mo rin yung medium size. So, sabi nga doon sa explanation natin ng English, kapag nakabisado mo na yung alignment, balance, and contrast. Automatically, uh, papasok na dito yung proportion. Automatic, malalaman mo na yung proportion. Kasi alam mo kung anin yung dapat bigyan ng, em ng emphasis. Alam mo yung i-align. Alam mo rin yung dapat balance. Eh. So, definitely, alam mo kung anin yung mas malaki. Alam mo yung medium. So, for example nga, itong design na to, pinakamalaki itong poker run. Ito yung gusto niyang emphasize. Tapos, sa uh, pangalwa, ito sunod naman na malaki. Tapos, panghuli yung mga information ng event. O, oh, ayan yung tinatawag na proportion. Hindi pwedeng para-pareho malalaki sukat niya. Dapat merong maliit, merong medium maliit, merong maliit na maliit, merong medium size, at merong namang bold, napakalaki, para ma-achieve yung proportion. Number six is movement going back to our concert poster if you decided the band was the most important piece of information on the page and the venue was the second how would you communicate that with your audience movement is controlling the elements in a composition so that the eye is led to move from one to the next and information is properly communicated to audience so ito movement mahalaga rin to kasi parang ibig sabihin ito, papagalawin mo yung design mo habang tinitingnan ng audience yung composition mo yung poster mo na nakasabit sa wall or nasa outdoor uh, yung mga banners natin, kita mo tong string van fever, ito yung inuna niya, so papaganyan siya, tapos medium, tapos papaliit, papaganito nagbabasa yung mata mo kumbaga movement, may movement kita mo yung ano, may movement siya may movement siya uh, tapos dito uh, sabay emphasize ng pecha, then sabay maliliit lang dito yung mga details ng event so yung press niya, hindi naman kasi nung kali, kalakihan pero naka-emphasize din may movement yung mata mo from the name of the band dito sa one grass, two grass na palagay ko ito yung subhead nila then may konting illustrations talagang magmumove yung mata mo hindi siya boring tingnan 
tapos may may mga may may distortion yung teksto so ito yung movement na tinatawag eh uh, ito naka-distort siya sa gitna papalaki dalawang gilid then from left to right papalaki tapos mula dito from right to left papalaki then dito naman sa gitna na naman so yun yung movement na tinatawag sa design Maka, static siya pero mapipil mo may movement yung design And last but not the least, yung number 7 natin, yung white space. Uh, bali, ito rin yung huli sa uh, una kong ginawang video. Ito talaga yung napakaganda, paborito ko to. Actually, sa mga design ko, kahit nung nasa Saudi Arabia ako, uh, designer ako sa advertising, palagi kong ginagamit yung white space na to. All of the other elements deal with what you add to your design. White space or negative space. is the only one that specifically deals with what you don't add white space is exactly that the empty page around the elements in your composition for beginning designers it can be a perilous zone open simply giving a composition more room to breathe can upgrade it from mediocre to successful white space isn't sitting there doing nothing it's creating hierarchy and organization Our brains naturally associates ample white space around the element with importance and luxury. If telling your eyes the object is one region, are grouped separately from objects elsewhere. Even more exciting, it can communicate an entirely different image or idea from your main design that will reward your audience for engaging with it. The logo above uses active negative space to communicate multiple ideas is one fun creative design. Ano mo, very exciting itong paggamit ng white space. Uh, Unang-una, para sa akin, naging elegante yung design. Yeah, parang ano to eh, going to minimalist design na mangyayari sa'yo. Uh, kapag merong white space, ibig sabihin, humihinga yung design, may breathing, uh, mag-aanting nan, parang ito. Mag-aanting nan yung mga design. So, hindi ibig sabihin nagtira ka ng white space dyan is wala nang ginagawa yan. Binabalansin niya yung design mo. Kung baga, tingnan mo dito, maraming element. Pagdating dito, uh, less element siya pero bumagay pa rin kasi nabalansin siya ng white space dito. So, class and dating, uh, mas maganda kung makakabisado mo itong paggamit ng white space or yung kung tawagin nila sa market yung negative space. Napakagandang i-master nito kasi um, mas creative ang dating eh. Mas creative ang dating kung ganito yung klase ng mga design mo. Marami siyang white space, minimal yung element, direct to the point yung yung uh, mga visual elements mo, mas madaling maintindihan ang target audience mo. So mga brad, hanggang dito na lang muna. Ako nga pala ulit si Darwin, isang graphic design specialist. Tagal ako nagtrabaho sa Middle East. So, ngayon, uh, nag-decide akong gumawa ng channel na to para ma-share ko naman yung nari ko sa inyo. Kung may tanong kayo, uh, pwede nyo akong i-message sa messenger ko. Andiyan lang sa ibaba. At dito rin sa comment section, pwede kayo mag-comment, pwede kayo mag-tanong. Uh, at higit sa lahat, subscribe po ng channel ko para ganahan naman ako mag-upload pa ng mga bagong videos. Uh, maraming salamat po